This video is sponsored by Vegas, the editing software that I actually use to edit all of my videos. The Aeolian scale, or the Aeolian mode, is exactly the same thing as the natural minor scale. We can think of it as like the major scale, but with a lowered third, lowered sixth, and lowered seventh degree. If we don't count the major scale itself, Aeolian is probably the most common mode that you'll come across, particularly in rock and pop music. All Along the Watchtower by Bob Dylan is 100% Aeolian. There must be some way out of here Say the joker to the thief Californication by the Red Hot Chili Peppers is an A Aeolian. as is Street Spirit by Radiohead. And Losing My Religion by R.E.M. is also in A. Aeolian. It's bigger, it's bigger than you, than you are not me. The Aeolian scale, the natural minor, has a mournful, solemn sound. It almost has a sense of weight and seriousness. A good way to think about the sound of Aeolian, of the natural minor, is to compare it to our other common minor scale, the harmonic minor. There's only one difference between the natural minor and the harmonic minor, the seventh degree of the scale. The harmonic minor seventh degree is only a semitone away from the octave, which gives the scale a greater sense of pulling up to the resolution. This note, a semitone away from the tonic note, really wants to resolve. This means chord progressions in the harmonic minor have a sense of moving forward towards a conclusion. They sound quite directional. They want to resolve. However, with the natural minor scale, the seventh degree is not raised. This means we haven't got such a strong sense of tension and release. The seventh degree of the natural minor is much happier to sit where it is without sounding like it has to resolve upwards to the octave. So chord progressions in the natural minor, in Aeolian, have less tension. We don't have such a sense of needing to move somewhere. To really hear this difference between the natural and harmonic minor, I'll show you what Losing My Religion would sound like if it was in the harmonic minor. Firstly, here is Losing My Religion in its normal form in the natural minor scale. It's bigger, it's bigger And this is what it would sound like if it was instead in the harmonic minor scale. It's bigger, it's bigger than you, and you are not me. As you hear, we lose that laid back sorrowful sound of the natural minor, and instead have a stricter, brighter, almost more sinister sound. They're both certainly minor, they're both in the minor key, but they're different types of minor. The Aeolian scale can also give a song a cooler, more laid-back sound than the harmonic minor scale would. For example, Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers is in Aeolian. When she's gone, she's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away. If it was instead in the harmonic minor, it would sound far more serious and direct. No sunshine when she's gone, she's always gone. Now, as I mentioned before, Aeolian and the natural minor scale are just two names for the same scale. Aeolian is the modal name for the scale, because Aeolian is a mode. It's the sixth mode of the major scale. A mode is when a different note of the scale is treated as the tonic note, as the root note. So, for example, if we take the C major scale, but treat the sixth degree A as the root of our scale, as the tonic note, then we're now playing in A Aeolian. The exact same notes, but with a different centre of gravity. For example, In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins is in D Aeolian. D Aeolian is the sixth mode of F major. So this song uses all of the same notes it would if we were in the key of F major, but we resolve to D instead as our root note, as our tonic note. Oh no. Oh no. 
In a moment, we'll take a little look at how you can tell the difference between a song that's in the natural minor, in the Aeolian, or a song that's in harmonic minor. But just before we do that, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, which is Vegas. Vegas is actually the video editing software that I use to edit all of my videos. Vegas has a super easy to use interface, allowing for a fast workflow. It comes with loads of built-in effects and features that are super useful. For example, for this little clock here, the original visual looked like this, and then I used Vegas's chroma key tool to make it transparent. Vegas can also host VST plugins. So for example, if I wanted to adjust the EQ on my voiceover, I don't have to go back into my door to do it. I can just open up the EQ here and make the changes. If you're interested in Vegas, you can actually try it out with a 30 day free trial to see if you like it. And on my second channel, I've just uploaded a behind the scenes vlog documenting how I edited this video using Vegas. The link for that is in the description. As I mentioned before, the Aeolian scale, the natural minor scale, is one of the two most common minor scales in music, the other one being the harmonic minor scale. And they're both very similar. As we discussed before, it's just that seventh degree that makes the difference between harmonic minor and natural minor. So what I want to do now is show you a few songs that are in the minor key, but show you how you can work out at a listen or at a glance at the music, whether it's in the natural minor or the harmonic minor. The best thing to look out for is the fifth chord of the key. If the song is using the natural minor, Aeolian, then the fifth chord of the key will be a minor chord. For example, Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers is in the key of A minor, and we can tell that it's using the natural minor because the fifth chord of the key, E, is an E minor. If Ain't No Sunshine was instead using the harmonic minor, this chord would be an E major chord. Remember, the one difference between natural and harmonic minor is the seventh degree. And it's that seventh degree that dictates whether the fifth chord of the key is major or minor, because the seventh degree is the third of the chord. Another method is to just look for the seventh degree in the melody and see if it's the natural unaltered seventh degree of the natural minor, or if it's the raised seventh degree of the harmonic minor. Here in Ain't No Sunshine, we can clearly see that the seventh degree of the scale is a G natural so we can conclude that we're in the A natural minor scale. If this note was instead G sharp, then we would be in the harmonic minor. So now that we've gone through how to tell the difference between the natural minor and the harmonic minor, let's see if you can do it for yourself. The song Jolene is in C sharp minor, but is it using the natural minor or the harmonic minor? Jolene, 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 Jolene. If you said natural minor, then you're correct. We can see that the seventh degree of the scale, in this case B, is unaltered. If Jolene was instead in the harmonic minor, this B would be a B sharp. What about this song? Is this song in the natural minor or the harmonic minor? With his same old same bay, me. Back to Black by Amy Winehouse uses the D harmonic minor scale. We can see this because it's using the raised seventh degree C sharp here in the melody and also in these A major chords. And finally, what about this one? Get a shiver in the dark, it's raining in the park, but meantime. Now, this one was a bit of a trick. Sultans of Swing, at different points in the song, uses both the raised seventh degree of the harmonic minor and the unaltered seventh degree of the natural minor. And this isn't actually uncommon. It's not uncommon for songs to switch between different minor scales. And they may even switch between more than just the natural and the harmonic minor. They may also introduce elements of the Dorian scale, for example, or the melodic minor. And this is why it can sometimes just be simpler to describe a song as being in the minor key without actually specifying which minor scale is being used. Now, while we're talking about the Aeolian scale, it's a good opportunity to tell you about something called the Aeolian Cadence. Now, don't worry if you've never heard of the Aeolian Cadence before, because it's not actually a typical standardized music theory term. It's actually a term that was coined by a music critic in the 1960s when they were analyzing a Beatles song. In the 1960s, William Mann was a music columnist for The Times, who generally reviewed classical music and rarely discussed anything as common as pop music. But for the Beatles' 1963 single, Not A Second Time, he decided to make an exception. And in his analysis of Not A Second Time, 
He used the term Aeolian cadence to describe this resolution here from D7 to E minor. You're back again. No, no, no. Not a second time. As I said before though, this term Aeolian cadence isn't really a standard term. The typical way we would describe this cadence would be either an interrupted cadence or a deceptive cadence, where rather than the harmony resolving from 5 back to 1, a predictable perfect cadence, here instead we resolve from 5 to the 6th chord of the key, giving us a different type of resolution. This use of the term Aeolian cadence here though is understandable. Aeolian is the mode built on the 6th degree of the scale, so when John resolves the progression onto the 6th chord of the key here, the E minor, instead of the tonic chord of G major, it gives this passage a E Aeolian sound, a minor scale sound, rather than the G major scale sound we would get if he had resolved back to G major. Now when John Lennon was asked about man's description of his song, he said, To this day I have no idea what Aeolian cadences are. They sound like exotic birds. I'll leave you today with this piece of music which I've composed exclusively using the D Aeolian scale. big thank you as always goes to everybody who supports me on Patreon, including an extra special thanks going to these wonderful people.